What is going on, Ive Warriors? So we are going to talk about this incredibly popular trend, um, not eating sugar for 30 days. And I'm going to tell you the truth about this trend, even though it's going to be a little bit hard for some people to hear. It is very important to talk about. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so what actually happens to you when you stop eating sugar for 30 days? Now, there's a few caveats that we do want to mention here before I dive fully into explaining what the benefits of, of doing this. Um, for one, it isn't necessarily stopping sugar because there is still sugar in things like vegetables and fruits, but those tend to not be off limits because they are also vital and they are very nutrient dense. They help you with the nutrition that you need throughout the day, not just the macro, but also the micro nutrition that you can get from things like vegetables. The fiber is just one of those examples of things that are really beneficial for you when you are doing whatever diet or just your normal eating pattern. But we are talking primarily about added sugar. So anything like high fructose corn syrup or anything that didn't necessarily have sugar, but then they put sugar on top of it, which is normally that type of sugar, just high fructose corn syrup. So this is everything else, donuts, cereal, bread, you name it. So I just wanted to make that discrepancy because when people say not eating sugar for 30 days, they technically are still eating sugar. They're just eating natural sugar and not added sugar. But the benefits of not eating sugar or reducing your added sugar content is enormous because things like insulin resistance is reduced and insulin resistance is when your body lacks the sensitivity which is insulin sensitivity when sugar comes into the bloodstream into the body and insulin helps move this sugar throughout the body throughout the bloodstream and if you become insulin resistant your body isn't quick to react to all of that sugar coming into your bloodstream and a lot of it just stays leaked out and builds up so this leads to the other thing that happens when you reduce um, added sugar and that is your blood sugar levels do not go up they start to reduce and blood sugar levels being high are things that cause uh, type 2 diabetes, a prevalent disease that a lot of people see because of the increased intake of added sugars or things like high fructose corn syrup. Another thing that is avoided and reduced because of the removal of the sugar for 30 days is even weight gain but now we need to understand how this happens because it isn't just because of the sugar there is this added weight gain that is uh, removed from the calorie intake no there are certain things for example the buildup of visceral fat studies have shown that visceral fat builds up and those are the fats that's around the uh the organs so it actually pushes your stomach out so it is very dangerous because it's around the organs but visually speaking it does also push your stomach out and visceral fat can be accelerated through added sugars, things like high fructose corn syrup, but also they are incredibly calorie dense. So that means they tend to be very high in calorie, but lack the satiety inducing feelings that you get from nutrient filling foods like protein for example so protein can make you feel full while not having that much calories so you get a feeling of satiety which means a feeling of satisfaction of what you've eaten you don't feel like you need to eat more while on the contrary sugar not only doesn't give you that feeling of being full while having more calories so for example a, a, a donut could be 600 calorie ver versus uh, something else that contains protein that's 300 calories and you will not feel satisfied with that 600 calorie donut. You would want to eat more simply because of the lack of satisfaction, but also on top of that, the dopamine hit you get from consuming sugar. So sugar makes you want to eat more sugar psychologically, and on top of that, your body doesn't even feel like it's eaten enough because they're not satiating enough. 
So you have these high calorie foods that shoot this dopamine in your brain that makes you want to eat more, that makes you feel like you're not even full, and it's a recipe for disaster. So cutting out sugar or added sugar during a 30-day period is beneficial in that respect. Also, dental hygiene, because sugar can get caught in gums and teeth, and this causes things like cavities for example and reducing the added sugar will help also reduce elements of dental hygiene or dental health that can be detrimental down the line that can cause issues down the line if you continue to eat in a pattern where you're eating a lot of added sugar so these are some of the things that happen when you stop eating added sugar for 30 days and the goal is to focus on new nutrient dense foods, whole foods, uh, to help you get through the period of not eating this added sugar for 30 days. But I'm going to hit you with a cold, hard truth. None of it matters. That's right. I am not an advocate for sugar. On the contrary, I, I would advocate for you to eat less sugar, as little as you possibly can. But I am also not an advocate for a 30 day challenge that will literally do nothing. It will be a drop in the bucket for your entire life. Reducing blood sugar levels, reducing the possibilities for type 2 diabetes, the possibility for gum disease, the possibility for visceral fat acceleration, the possibility for overeating due to the high calorie, low satiety, and dopamine hit that you get from sugar, insulin resistance. All of this is simply for a short, minuscule time period in your entire life. One month. You're doing it for one month. And then when you get back to eating normally, what ends up happening is your body's going to really want to make sure that you stay eating sugar because it's a dopamine hit for your body. So your body will probably do a lot of work to make you not do this 30 day challenge ever again. Now, if you want to detoxify or anything like that, what I get what you're trying to do, but really all you're doing is being healthy for 30 days and then going back to normal. What I would rather recommend you do is actually create a system where you're just eating less sugar for the rest of your life. Don't take it away altogether, but reduce its quantity of how much you eat throughout the day for the rest of your life. That way you actually get sustained health benefits and not just a little drop in the bucket that's not gonna really do anything for you um, in a significant way. It's just gonna give you like a moment, a short moment in time of health where you reduced added sugar. If you want to conceptualize this thought process to understand how unnecessary it is unless you change your lifestyle altogether it is the equivalent of saying i want to be rich i want to have a mansion so then a company provides you with a tour of going to a rich person's house walking around sleeping in their bed uh, going to a golf uh, event and playing some golf from um, hanging out with people from wall street for one day and then the next day you're back to normal. That is not satisfying at all. Did you get to live the life of someone that was rich? Yes, for a day. But did it mean anything in the grand scheme of things? Absolutely not. So what you want to do is a better strategy. Focus on the reduction of added sugar as opposed to the complete elimination because it's an unrealistic task that you won't be able to do for the rest of your life. Now, if you continue to reduce it over time and you get to a point where you just don't need to do it at all and you feel that you can stick to that because that is the most important thing, you feel that you can stick to it, then continue from there. But these 30 days challenges are absolutely insignificant. They're not going to change anything in terms of your entire life. A pattern change that you can sustain for the long term, that is significant. Patreons will be pinned in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.